kicking it with Kenny this morning. Are you going to play a little tennis later on? Um, you know what, Wayne? I haven't played tennis since I was in junior high school. Oh. So I'm like, yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know. I, mean, I could probably I could probably do a little warm up, a little warm up volley at mm -hmm. best. Mm -hmm. At best. So yeah. I want I don't want to declass the game. <laughs> 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 All right. But well, we're here at Jacobs Pavilion having a great time. Tennis in the land, a big tournament. Uh, last year was the first year as part of the WTA. Now if you want to get to the US Open, which is the you know the Super Bowl in New York and next week you have to win here right Meredith and so we have literally some of the best women players in the world coming to Cleveland to play tennis to hopefully get a shot at the US Open so it's awesome it's awesome. it's so great that this is here in Cleveland second year event which is yeah. great so we're growing off the base of our first year mm -hmm. and um, like you said Kenny we have some of the top players in the world who are here in the land on this court that we're yeah. sitting on um, just competing in Cleveland and it's really cool because they turn uh, Jacobs Pavilion area into like a little tennis epicenter there's practice courts out there and then this is the main court uh, where you see tournaments but uh, they have a fan fest that happens it's free to everybody right outside of the area explain to everybody what fan fest is yeah, absolutely. So Tangeray Fan Fest, um, yeah. it's a free event that's open to the public. Um, and there's different things. There's vendors, uh, there's music. They actually have a video wall, too, where you can watch matches. Um, Putt Putt Golf. And yeah. then there's also interviews with players post event, which is great because it really makes tennis more accessible to the community. Um, and then, you know, you can head over to the Fan Fest and then take a pop in here and, mm. and check out everything going on here at the main court. And then, as you mentioned as well, there's some courts out there as well um, for different competitions. So yeah. really just a fun environment um, that you can come to down on your lunch break or after work and uh, check out some of the best tennis players in the world. And you mentioned coming out on your lunch break. So yeah. once the once the um, matches start, uh, they start in the morning and and last night they finished at 9:30 p.m. So exactly. literally almost any time of day if you're a tennis fan or want to learn about it, you can come in and check out a match. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's tennis <laughs> all day in the land. So yeah. That's so cool. Let's talk about economic impact. Last year we've grown uh, from uh, the first year. So this year we expect hopefully how much? So we're looking at 2.1 million of economic impact. So that's people visiting Cleveland for tennis in the land, yep. shopping in our shops, eating in our restaurants, staying in our hotels, um, and just even coming to cheer on players and travel for this event, which yep. at the Sports Commission is really important to us because that's why we do the events we do. Right. Not only to elevate Cleveland to as a sports mecca of the world is what mm -hmm. we hope one day, um, but also too just to provide that impact to our local community. It's so important. The that's so awesome, and, it, and that's great, and it's another reason for people to get behind Cleveland. Um, last year, when we talk about uh, people who viewed from around the world and in the United States, how many people were watching uh, Tennis in the Land last year here in Cleveland? So actually, there were 4.5 million viewers around the world had eyes on Tennis in the Land. Wow. So that's not just, I mean, obviously the the play that's going on on the court, but our beautiful skyline that you can see yeah. from Jacob's Pavilion, um, and just eyes on Cleveland and eyes on this event, which is so cool for us. It's really cool because you, you feel like you're playing in the middle of downtown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's so neat. That, that makes it That makes the venue unique as well. And it's also just another reason for people to rally around uh, the positive aspects of what's happening in Cleveland too. I mean, it's really cool. Oh, there's so much cool stuff that's happening. Yeah. And I mean, we've got so many years coming up of amazing yeah. stuff. You know, we've got events booked through 2020 already at the Sports Commission. Love, love so, love I it. mean, get ready, Cleveland. <laughs> yes, bring the money. Okay, yeah. so we're talking about tennis in the land right here at Jacobs Pavilion. Uh, matches start at 9.30. Last night they went through 9.30 p.m., so that's 12 hours of tennis. So, totally cool. All right, we're going to go back to, to you guys in the studio, but we're going to talk to a local uh, tennis player who's doing really, really good. All right, back to you guys. That is nice. awesome.